start today with a thank you, a really big thank you to Jackie for giving me a wonderful and amazing daughter like Amanda. So, will you all please be upstanding for our first toast of the day for the mother of the bride, Jackie. To Jackie. To Jackie. <laughs> I always thought we'd be here first with Jane, but Jane seems quite happy with her father the way things are at the moment. <laughs> when she's had enough of them, she just picks them up and puts them back in his There's one word that I would use to describe a mind that it would be fearless. When we went to the fairgrounds, it was always the biggest and the fastest ride. She's been swimming with sharks in Thailand. She's jumped out of an aeroplane in Australia. And when we went to the metro centre, there she was, sat on the end of the... Uh, looking uh, the fountain, with a hand in the water, pinching all the <laughs> Right in front of the security guard, she was fearless. You know, it's always special when you have to work with your family. And me and mine have worked together for quite a few years. And she started off at the Grand Hotel in the lounge making tea and coffee, and she ended up in the kitchen drinking Jack Daniels and Coke. That's true. <laughs> Special thank you to Amanda for being the best sous chef I had at the Grand Hotel. <laughs> Next, for, I'd like to say a big thank you to David and Susan for giving Amanda a wonderful husband in Adam. So, could you please be upstanding again for the parents of the group, David and Susan. David and Susan. You know, Amanda, I remember when Amanda first told me about Adam. She said he's got a lovely sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> she said, he's perfect. He's got everything a woman wants. I said, an hourglass figure, <laughs> a flower's confection, a hundred pair of shoes. She says, no, pack it in, man. I said, well, tell us a bit about him and his family then. She said, well, he's got three brothers and they're all support Newcastle United. <laughs> What more could a dad want? I can just imagine the four lads all in St James's Park, hands in the air, all cheering, Sheer out! Sheer out! And she looked at me and she says, Dad, I think you better sit down. I said, What's the matter? I says, Has Adam got a deep, dark secret? Do you have to get married? She said, Dad, He's a mackerel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, that was terrible. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Middlesbrough, live Spartans, anything but the <laughs> But Adam, he's a fine lad. He's a grand strapping lad, anybody can see that. And if there's one thing he does, he makes Amanda happy. So, thank you for that. The next toast, you don't have to get up on your feet for because the next toast is for you. For everybody here coming today, I'd like to toast you coming here and looking so nice and making an effort. Me. <laughs> to Adam and Amanda themselves. I'd like to thank them for yesterday and all the joy and happiness they brought into our lives. I'd like to thank them for today for making me the proudest dad alive. And as everybody knows, the plan to start a family soon. I'd like to thank them for tomorrow because that's something to look forward to. <laughs> 
So, with the final few words of wisdom that I have to give, this being the father, is I want to tell you personally, whatever you want to do in your married life from today, we'll all be behind you. Wherever you go in your married life, we'll always be with you. And whenever that was me changing, <laughs> as long as you put yourselves <laughs> So the final toast is to Adam and Amanda. Adam and Amanda. And that's it. <laughs>